Hey everyone, welcome to another video tutorial today from Alliance Security Niagara. Uh, we're going to be talking about the WatchNet Multi-Site Manager. This tool, um, typically your installer would uh, install this on your computer, PC, or Mac um, at the time of installation, uh, but this software will allow you to live view, uh, see playback, and record video footage right directly to your computer so you can share that as necessary. So we're just going to go over um, a few of the functions here that yeah, you can use, use this for. So if we, uh, we see here, this is the main page here when you load the software. Um, so we're just going to hit Live View here. All right, now on the left side, you're going to see your NVR systems. I have multiple systems here on here, but uh, uh, you may just have one. So you drop this down so you can see your cameras. If you can't see the cameras, just right click on here, Channel Display and show all channels. Um, so basically you're, all you're doing is just double clicking on the camera that you want um, as part of the uh, your view here. Now um, uh, if you need, if you have more than, than four, you just click down here so you can increase the amount of uh, squares to show more cameras or less. Um, and uh, so let's say that uh, that you like a specific view and you don't want to have to double click the, these every time because um, I do have there's some cameras that were are not actually activated so um, I, I carefully pick and choose the cameras I want to see we can actually uh, save that view as a, a default view here so that way when you're just double clicking your favorite view it just brings up the cameras that you that you typically use. So what you would do is, is first you would just select the cameras you want in whatever order um, that you want. And then you would just hit this little save view. Just type in the name of your view and hit save or hit OK. And then you would see that right here. So instead of coming here, you uh, when you first load the live view, you can just go to view and just double click on the view you like. All right, so um, that's pretty much the live view. We can just uh, close this right now. And let's get into playback. So playback, um, it's the same idea that you're, you're managing your playback over on this left side. So we're going to select um, a couple of the cameras. Um, so we'll select the uh, sign mailbox in the parking lot. And we want to look at all records. You can choose if you just want to see motion detection or whatever you want to see. But in our case, uh, we'd like to see all records. So make sure that's checked. Mainstream is going to be high quality. So keep in mind, if you don't have a very strong internet connection, if you're off site, um, that could it could be uh, slow for the video feed uh, for the feeds to load. Substream is uh, lower quality. It's faster. Um, so you could use that to just uh, take a look at the footage and see what you can find. And when you find it, then switch back to your mainstream. But uh, in my case, I'm going to keep it mainstream. Then we select the date and time. Uh, green obviously represents days that there there are recordings, and then we've got our our times here. So we're gonna so in this case, it's just looking at that uh, the entire day on the 15th, all 24 hours. So we're gonna hit OK, and we're gonna hit search. And this is just gonna give us back our timeline that we'll see down here. So this takes just a bit. Okay, so now these these are two channels. You can see the timeline changes when I toggle between the cameras um, because in this case, it, it, this does not have some recordings here during these periods. It's not set for 24-7 recording, only motion detection. Uh, but this has all of the all of the recordings here. But if I um, if I click on a on a time here. Okay, so we can see that this uh, that this camera uh, was recording here, um, but this one is still is it has not we haven't hit play yet there, but this little sync will actually force all the cameras to just synchronize, so that way you're just clicking on one timeline and all the cameras will update and make sense because otherwise this camera could be a different time than this one and uh, that might not be what you're looking for but so you just hit this to synchronize the playback um, okay so there are uh, there are a few options here for you if you want to 
you want to zoom in you can hit this uh, zoom in and then you just drag and then you can move this around and you can see what's going on um, to get back you just hit that uh, button again so you get back to the full view there are uh, you can take a snapshot if you want to take a snapshot um, that as a matter of fact will save if we if we go up into the top right here into the settings cog and we go down to local path uh, this is where it saves so if you want to change that like I've changed this to my desktop into a folder I've created you know you can do that otherwise you do you will need to navigate to this uh, to this long path in order to find them so I probably recommend changing that to something um, that's more you know e it's a that's easier to access so and then once you do that then that's where all your snapshots uh, will show up okay so now to export uh, any footage um, keep in mind you can only export one channel at a time but uh, let's say we've got a time that we like we're gonna hit this the scissor icon here so we're gonna hit the scissor icon and then we can see the the end time so uh, depending on how, what where how much footage you want so I'm just gonna shrink this down real uh, real low here um, as a matter of fact I click on this one here and I'm gonna do this here and then I'm going to shrink this right down just to a couple of minutes there okay so uh, this is this is the recording period that I'd like so I'm gonna hit this uh, time clip again and then it's going to ask me to choose the path. Now I've already changed the folder, like I said. Uh, the format, these are the available formats. So if you go original format, you can export a smart player, um, which is uh, pretty handy. So I'm just going to leave it at, a, at a original format and leave the smart player and hit OK. Okay, it does ask us, it's telling us that it can't save it while it's in playback, so you just agree and then it stops the playback for that channel. And here's the status. If I close that and I want to see what that progress is, that's what this little down arrow is. It will just tell us what that progress is. Uh, another way you can do footage is if we hit this uh, little pull out uh, side menu here, you can see how it's broken out um, the different times here on the timeline. So if uh, you know if we're just looking for motion detection, we can double click on that and it will automatically uh, go to that time period. We can even checkbox that and we can just save that. That's a duration of uh, 18 seconds, but we can we can save that directly. So rather than trying to uh, choose from here to here, you can save an entire uh, scene if that's if that's something that that you want. Okay, so now uh, now that we've got the playback here. Uh, we can open up that folder. So here we have, and I, I had previously uh, recorded a channel here. Uh, so we can open up the, the player. Okay, and it asks us if we want to associate and just hit OK. Um, and then those, those files automatically uh, show up here. If they don't show up there, you just add the file. And when you go to the footage folder, um, you can just double click on any one of them and it will automatically bring them right in here. Okay, so just double click. And you can double click on that one too if you want to open up the two channels. But this this player is great because uh, uh, it, it works just like a mini, um, you know, it's a smart player, so it kind of works like the software, but it's very easy to share and, and anybody who, who you share this with uh, is able to view the, view the playback. There's a little digital zoom here you can press, so you can you can still zoom in, um, right? And uh, right click to get back out. Uh, we can just change it to, from one or multiple cameras again. Uh, your sync play and um, your volume control, and here's your timeline. I just have a couple of clips, so um, yeah. So there's. Uh, this is the the smart player so just make sure that if you do share the the files that you do include that player so you can easily just uh, select all of this um, you know send to a zip compressed folder 
and then you then you just have one file that you can save and share put it on a thumb drive or however it is that you want to that you want to do that so once that uh, saves and then you can call it uh, you know your footage or something like that and then there you go you've got one folder to uh, send it anyway yeah so that uh, so that's pretty much how to use the live view playback and and uh, export your footage so hopefully this video helped you out um, yeah give us a call if there's any any questions regarding your watchnet system and we'd be happy to help you thanks very much